morning guys so it's actually half six a.m and i'm currently waiting for my car to turn up because today i'm going to london for something super exciting i'm actually going for a shoot that's chris making me a coffee <laughs> i'm actually going for a shoot with cosmotop Cosmopolitan magazine and we're working on some social content today and it's going to be a very interesting video <laughs> and the concept is absolutely bizarre and I love it because it's exactly what I used to do when I worked in London and when I've worked various jobs full time before so I'm super excited for this concept and the idea of the video but I'm not going to tell you about that yet I'll let you see in the clips because there's going to be a set being made and I think it's going to be quite cool just to show you what, is, what it is literally i always get like really like anxious when cars are turning off in case i miss them and then i don't have a car to london so i'm keeping an eye out the window um and yeah so i thought i would start the vlog now I haven't vlogged for a long long time so i'm not sure how well i'm gonna do i really want to vlog today because not only is it great for youtube it's also a great memory for me to have so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I've got a big yellow cardigan just for kind of warmth and comfort in the car. And then I've got this top that I got from, I actually bought this yesterday from H&M. It says Electric Sound Nashville. It's £8.99 and I really like it. A beret because I have major fringe problems and there's a hair person there. So didn't need to do my hair today. No makeup, again, because makeup artist. And then I've got these checked trousers on these are actually from Joni from last year I think um absolutely love them and then I've got my four from reckless patent boots which go with absolutely everything and I really love them and I shouldn't be wearing them in here because this is our new carpet so don't tell anyone Shh. <laughs> So I am done at the shoot. I'm actually in the car and um, the driver has just gone to get petrol. So I thought I'm gonna get my camera out and do a little bit of vlogging. I have now kind of squished my hair down, but my hair today looked so cool. And my makeup was really like dewy and glowy. And I've literally took a picture of everything that the makeup artist used because it was just so cool. I'll leave their links below because I follow them on Instagram now. Um, both really lovely guys and a really lovely team. So yeah, it was a really fun day. Day. I'm super excited to see the final results and now I'm gonna eat a biscuit so I'll catch up with you tomorrow hi guys so it's now the next day of course and um, I tried my best to vlog yesterday, although actually sometimes they can get really, really busy and kind of a bit hectic. And when you're the person that's in the shoot, you can't always like grab your camera and record stuff. So that is my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Um, and today I've also been really, really bad at vlogging. Um, I went into London quite early again this morning to the Zoe just knocked over my coffee cup. The Zoella Colour Pop launch. I took some footage but I didn't speak. I was really nervous because I always get really nervous walking into these events when I don't know anyone. Luckily enough I did know some people. I knew Lucy in the Bump was going and she had some lovely girls with her as well and I also met Rhiannon so I'll leave their links below even though I didn't film them or anything like that you'll just have to take my word for it. Met Zoe and she was so so lovely just how she is in her videos as well which was always nice. I didn't doubt that for one second um, but yeah, so I have the products here. Um, I'm going to show you some footage that I took at the event. It's very cool, very brunch vibes, waffles, candy floss, very sweet brunch. <laughs> Not very savoury, but it was nice. Um, and I've just got home. I'm actually now going to see my nan as well. So I will carry on this vlog tomorrow. Hello. So I thought I would carry on this vlog. The last thing you would have seen was me going to the Zoella Colourpop launch which I don't think I did any talking really um, and I thought actually this is a really good vlog I don't want to just throw the vlog away and ignore it so I thought I would do a couple of days now just to make the vlog a little bit more substantial and today I'm actually wearing 
everything on my face apart from my foundation and bronzer is from the Colourpop launch with Zoella. Oh, and apart from my mascara as well, that's Benefit Roller Lash. But yeah, look how amazing this eyeshadow is. So um, I have literally got ready in such a rush this morning and these are all the products just laid on the floor like you do. Um, but one of my favorites is the palette. And obviously this was gifted to me after the event. We all got a little goodie bag of product. And a lot of my palettes that I've got, I've really got to like rub my brush into them to get any colour payoff. I did that today with this and the colour was so pigmented that actually I had too much on my brush. So I really, really like this. What I used on my lids today was Champagne Toast, this light shade here, which is so pretty. And I used, I think um, it was Cinnamon Sugar, which is the second one on the top not very good explanation but yeah love the palette um the packaging so cute as well it's so like 70s and then i used this lip <laughs> and then i used this, this lip color but i've rubbed it off now because i was eating so i used this blush but that's come off a bit now because it's been a long day um so yeah so i was actually going to do like a makeup tutorial kind of makeup video on things and products that I've been using recently because I've actually changed up my foundation and how I apply my foundation and I've really been enjoying it. So if you want to see a makeup video featuring some new products, new foundation, pretty much all high street and affordable cheap products, let me know down below in the comments and if you want to see some of these Zoella little bits and bobs let me know as well and I'll happily include those because I'm really really enjoying them so yeah let me know if you want to see that so I'm just in my office at the moment and I have had a bit of a sort out believe it or not it doesn't look like it, it needs to be decorated in here but this is all of my beauty storage now and it's so nice to have it like all organized so I've got like drawers of stuff I mean admittedly I do need to clear out <laughs> have a lot of stuff um but yeah, it feels so much better to have it all in drawers and organised. I can get to everything, which is a massive, massive must because it helps me try out new products. I actually need to get a new one of these drawers. This was actually from the range. It's two put together. It's only £12.99. Um, I need some more for this area because these boxes are just like balancing. But this room is what I want to decorate. I just need to figure out what I want to do with it, what kind of colours, because at the moment it's cream and that's just not good for filming and to be honest the colours of the walls are pr probably what stops me from filming the most because I just feel like the videos look so boring and flat so I really need to sort this room out so that my filming background is a lot nicer so I'm excited to get back filming, I have been away for a few weeks filming it's just so it's so hard sometimes like knowing where to put all of your efforts and i've been putting mine mostly into instagram um but i realized that actually i really miss filming videos so that's something that i'm going to be doing more of this week that's my plan um but yeah so tonight we are actually going to a latte art class because we've got a new coffee machine for christmas and we've been really into like making coffees admittedly it's more chris that makes me coffees i don't actually know how to use the machine but i like it that way because he makes me all of my coffees <laughs> it's at our local coffee shop as well so that'll be interesting so i thought i'd take you along with me there um this is also what i'm wearing today yeah this is what i have on today and i'm really enjoying it it's really nice weather outside which means i can wear cardigans and no coat which makes me so happy and um, so this little top is actually a little t-shirt it's from amazon's own fashion brand called find really really love it and um, i work with them every month they give me a little voucher to spend so i bought this with it i think it was quite affordable actually but it's kind of like ribbed i don't know if you can see that but i love I just really like it this cardigan again was another gift this was from next and again really like it it's great for this weather because you don't want to wear a coat but you still need something a little bit warm and i really like how the color of the polka dot goes with the color of the cardigan so when i put this on i was like yeah that works and these jeans are from bershka which are my favorite type of jeans they always fit me really really nicely they're kind of like high-waisted um and they're kind of like a little bit oversized but not too baggy but yeah, I really like them. And I was also wearing this bag today as well, which again, really, really loving at the moment. It's £22.99, but I needed a little black bag that was really handy to use. And I just bought this. I really, really like it. It's really handy to use because you have these handles. So if you're in a rush, you can just grab it with the handles. And I love the plastic handles as well. And also because they're brown, 
You can wear them with a brown or black outfit, which I think is really important. And then inside, I've tucked this in because I just took a photo from my Instagram. Um, but inside you actually have like a long strap as well. So you can wear it like this, which is probably how I wear it the most of the time. But I can always, I can also put it over as well, which I do when I'm in London because it's just a lot easier to carry around. So that was a little buy that I did recently and I love it. So I got some bits in here from Primark. Like I picked up these sliders, how pretty. Oh my God, how pretty are these sliders? I thought these would be really good for like summer. Um, I love just really quick like slide on shoes when I'm going out the house and because they were so sparkly, I'm a bit of a magpie like my mum and I had to have them. I think my mum got them maybe in white or pink. They had them in white and pink as well. Six pound six freaking pound how good is that i also bought these sandals i definitely do not need any more sandals in my life but i can't resist primark sandals they're so affordable and um super comfy <laughs> so i also got these ones which are um orange and they have this really they're kind of like faux suede i guess and they have this really cute little bow and i love bows on sandals again these were six pound so so affordable i think these are more like birkenstocks kind of style which i really like i also bought this baker boy hat it was four pound i'm um, planning on a little hair change in this video as well so you might see that um hence why I bought a new hat not in case it goes wrong just because if i do manage to have my hair cut a bit shorter i love a baker boy hat with um short hair also picked up possibly the best thing i've ever seen in my life groovy chick socks i picked these up in primark and they made me so happy i said to mum i have to buy these if it's just for my childhood memories um let me know down below if you know what groovy chick is if you're um old enough to know what groovy chick is i used to have like a groovy chick bag a groovy chick t-shirt notebooks i loved this girl um these are £2.50 so you get the purple pair and you get a little grey pair and you get a oh a funky pink pair as well these will probably mostly be worn around the house i'm not planning on wearing these to the gym but um you never know so those are what i picked up from primark that was a little like impromptu primark haul there <laughs> i didn't mean to do that but i just saw the bag on the floor so um i know you guys like a little haul so that's that and um yeah that's that's what i got from i should have turned around the lighting is much better here, but never mind. We're about to do our coffee latte art class. I'm being discreet with my camera. <laughs> it's getting intense. <laughs> Tasting coffee. <laughs> This is my coffee. Here's my second go. I'm going to show you one to my mum and say, this is my... So, just got home from the latte art class. It was actually really good and not to boast, I was actually better than I expected considering I've never done latte art in my life because Chris is the one that uses the coffee machine and then makes me a coffee. Um, I thought I did pretty well. I'll, um, I've inserted some clips of my um, latte art. Admittedly, they didn't all look like hearts. Some of them looked a little bit interesting. <laughs> But um, it was fun and um, it was my local coffee shop that I go to work in a lot um, and they're really nice there as well so it was a really nice evening. Kind of weird to be socialising on a Tuesday night but I enjoyed it. So nipped into Tesco on the way home, got some fairy non-bio and some fairy softener, riveting, riveting content. I'm telling you. Um, the thing is as well, like if we're trying not to use plastic, how do we buy things like this? That's what I wanna know. Like, what do you guys do if you're trying not to use plastic with things like this? I've done really, really well with my non-use or single-use plastic actually. I always use these little bottles now for water. Um, before I would literally buy like 12 bottles of water drink like four a day and then just recycle them. I mean, we always recycle our plastic, but obviously kind of not what you want to be doing anyway so yeah always use these now and we've got a little water filter over there that we use as well so don't know where that come from that was quite random but um yeah so that's my um my latte evening and my plastic use conversation 
gone already in this video so i'm probably gonna get my pajamas on regardless of how tired i actually feel now and i'm probably gonna just sit on my bum on the sofa watch some trash tv go on my laptop maybe i'll write a blog post or something like that and um stay there until i go to bed so i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow i'm actually having my hair cut tomorrow so this is going to be very exciting so i'll catch up with you on the way to the hair salon i suspect good night good morning guys so today i am getting my hair cut hence why it's up like this my fringe <laughs> it's just sticking out hanging out and um, when you're having your hair cut it's the best thing because you don't need to worry about styling your hair in the morning and um, i did put this clip in though this clip is 99p from eBay. I'll leave the link down below because I couldn't believe what a bargain this was, especially because I bought one pretty similar on ASOS for like seven pounds and it wasn't actually as nice. So really impressed with these. They did come from China, I think, but they didn't actually take that long to be shipped. I think it's about a week. So they have some other different designs that I've also got at home that I think I've put on my Instagram, but yeah, love it. Um, so I'm with Chris because he's getting his hair cut as well. He doesn't like being on the camera. <laughs> he's all right. He's got a big old curly mop of hair that looks good whatever he does with it. But with me, I think I need my hair cut. I'm bored of it being longer. It's kind of that weird, not long, but not short kind of length. And I'm just not enjoying that. So going to have a bit of change. I do need the colour sorted out as well, but that will be another day because that takes hours and I just didn't have time today. So come along with me, have my hair cut and being cut, I suppose. <laughs> is my finished hair what do you think let me know down below in the comments but don't be mean um it's really really weird like getting used to having it this short i think this is the shortest i've had it in so long i'll take off my cardigan it's got really cold all of a sudden um so i put this on to keep me warm but yeah this is what it looks like i am gonna grow out my fringe i think just because i've kind of got a bit bored of having a fringe and i feel like it's just quite a lot of maintenance like if you've had a fringe before you'll know that sometimes you just want to get up and go with your hair but having a fringe you always have to kind of wash it or do something with it and i feel like this hairstyle would be a lot cuter like without the fringe so i think i'm going to grow that out um i have been sat with it for a little while so it's kind of gone a bit unruly but i did curl it when i got home just how i would normally with my longer hair or actually i'm actually using this at the moment which is the nikki clark super shine curler it's just like a little tong like this and i have the ghd curved tong as well which i do use quite a lot and i think actually that might be quite good with this hair because I don't need like a massive curl, I just need some kind of movement and body and texture. Um, the curl has dropped a little bit though, I think I need to like re-wash it because when I use conditioner on my hair it doesn't really curl that much, I'm better off not using as much conditioner so I think I need to just give it a few more washes, my hair always really sulks when I have it cut so yeah but it's such a big change but I'm really excited to kind of play around with it, I can use I can wear some of my hair bands that I've got, some clips, and just kind of have a bit of fun with it. Um, I can literally, like, just about get it up in a ponytail. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's short. I get some products as well that I used when I had short hair before. So I picked up this. This is the Got To Be um, Beach Matte Texturising Salt Spray. Really like this because it doesn't leave your hair feeling sticky like some salt sprays can. And it's really good for kind of texture. Um, and I used to just spray this onto my hands and kind of scrunch it into the bottoms of my hair. So I'll be doing that again. And I also have this got to be i love the got to be range by scorch Quaff. it's one of my favorites um this is a volumizing hairspray bit of volume can't go wrong 
with that i also picked up another replacement of my favorite um dry shampoo they've started doing this in tesco now which makes me so happy because before i would only ever be able to get this from primark and obviously i'd have to go right into town to a primark so that's really handy yeah i'm just trying to think what other products i would be using in my hair probably this as well andrew barton texture spray completely affordable get it from asda i use this all the time especially for updos not that I can do any updos now. Um, but yeah, it's really good for a bit of texture if you've got really silky kind of straight hair. Like me, um, I just love like textured hair, like a little bit of messy hair. And if your hair is dead straight, then it can be really hard to get that kind of look. So texture products always help. Look at Vince in, in the background <laughs> sitting in her cage. Butter. He said it will probably look a little bit better once the fringe has grown out and once I've kind of got a bit more used to it. Like new hair always takes so long to get used to but I'm excited to kind of experiment with it and wear some hair bands, some clips and all that jazz. I'm actually having the colour done next week as well because look at these roots, they are so bad. It's literally like half of my hair is brown and half of my hair is blonde. So I'm getting those done next week. I was considering going dark, but I think that's too many big changes in a short space of time. So, yeah. I feel like a different person. <laughs> Good morning, Vincy. <laughs> this is the only way I can film her on this camera because she absolutely hates it. <laughs> I can't wait to get this office decorated. <laughs> Good morning guys. As you can see, I've just washed my hair. I'm at, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna finish the vlog in a minute, but I thought since I haven't actually spoken much about the new do, I would just show you how I've been styling it because obviously it's a lot shorter. Like my shortest bit of hair is literally the shortest I've been in a long, long time. So I thought I would just kind of finish the vlog off with styling my hair with you guys. Um, what was I gonna say? This is actually the first time I've actually washed my hair and it was so weird in the shower to be washing such little hair. I needed like the tiniest bit of shampoo that you could imagine. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just show you how I'm drying it and styling it. The drying part is the first time I've ever done it, so hopefully that will go okay. But um, so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's a bit of a shock to the system when I look in the mirror. I'm a bit like, whoa, who is that? And I'm kind of looking forward to the fringe growing out. I think it will look really cute when the fringe is a little bit longer or the same length as my hair. But hopefully that will grow quite quickly as well. Um, I did like having a fringe. I've just got kind of a little bit bored of it, but... I've been wearing clips, hairbands, I've been putting the side up. It's just a really kind of fun hairstyle. You can have a little bit more fun when it's short, I think. So, yeah. So, first off, I'm just going to put some heat protect. This is the Andrew Barton Heat Protect Spray. I've been using this for ages. It's just one that I found in my drawer. I think it was gifted a while ago. Um, I go through hair, heat protect spray so often. And then I repurchased this. This is the Scorch Cough Got Be Beach Matte Salt Spray. I think I spoke to you a bit earlier in the week about this. Um, or yesterday, I think. I can't even remember. Um, I'm just going to spray that on just for a little bit of texture because obviously with this hairdo, I don't want it to be really kind of silky and dead straight. So let's get drying. <laughs> And then I'm just going to part it in the middle and sort out my fringe. I'm actually having it dyed hopefully next week as well because the colour, as you can see, it used to be blonde from the roots and it's not no more. So for the fringe, I'm just doing it the same way that I used to, so just kind of pulling it all forward. And then I'll just blow dry it forward just so it gets a bit more of a kind of fringy shape around it. Otherwise, if you kind of blow dry it on the side, you kind of get these weird like cowlick things, I think they're called. So I've just got a little barrel brush hair dryer. <laughs> Under the very 
grey bottom layer just because when I curl it I can't always get my curler around there so if it's kind of curled under it doesn't seem so kind of sticky out and straight so so with the curling as you can see I'm just grabbing like a bit of hair like this and then opening up my curler and wrapping it round I can get it round about three times I try to keep the end there because I don't want loads of straight end bits just leave it on and then as you can see you get a bit of a curl and we'll sort them out after so they're not so ringletty and then for shorter bits I just clip it in and curl it up like this then to finish off I'm just going to spritz some sea salt spray in my hands and rub it through I'm looking here because I've got a mirror <laughs> rub it through the ends just to give it a little bit more texture and then I'm just going to grab my brush and just gently brush through the curls just so they're not so kind of ringletty obviously with shorter hair you don't really want like ringlet curls and then I'm going to just back kind the sides a little bit and the back just to give it a bit of volume which I would do when my hair was long anyway like so so this is the finished hairdo it will kind of drop throughout the day it's a bit kind of voluminous and big at the moment um, and I've been playing around with kind of mixing up my parting so it's kind of over to the side a little bit but yeah that's how I'm going to style it today and um, yeah I hope you like it let me know down below in the comments what you think but of course please be nice I'm talking quiet because we've got builders in um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you again next time for another video make sure you subscribe if you're not already I'll leave the link at the end of the video and like I mentioned in this video if you do want a updated makeup look and some more hair tutorials like let me know if you've got short hair and you're struggling for ideas I can definitely do some kind of styling videos as well let me know down below in the comments and give the video a nice big thumbs up and I will see you again next time for another one thanks for watching guys bye